Hey there folks, are you ready to get started with the seven most important minutes of your day? I am, let's do that. Hey there everybody, good morning. Welcome to the seven most important minutes of your day. Joining me every morning for seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Thank you so much for being here this morning. And uh, I think we've got a pretty interesting topic lined up for this morning. I hope that it will be helpful. It's kind of a continuation of the conversation that we've been having this week about getting things done, GSD, getting stuff done, as some people would say. So, hey, listen, if you are here, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching on the replay, I'd really love it if you'd drop a comment down there and just say hi. Let me know that you were here just like Joe just did. Always appreciate having Joe here checking in with us uh, every morning. <clears throat> so if you haven't already, grab your cup of coffee. Uh, we'll get started here in just a second. So I hope so. It's Wednesday already. Just a quick reminder. That means the coffee shop show coming up at nine o'clock today. Uh, Eric, <clears throat> excuse me, Eric and I will be down at the coffee shop show, uh, down at the coffee shop to do the show. I have no idea what we're talking about yet today, but I'm pretty sure it'll be a good one. Be sure and tune in for that. All right. So this morning, so I, I got a couple of questions, uh, some uh, private messages and, and text and whatnot from yesterday's topic. Uh, about creating an action plan, and I shared with you, let's see if I can, oh, uh, I don't think I can, quick, yeah, I can, there it is, right there, all right, so I'm going to quickly get that back up on the screen so we can talk about that, I just need to screen share there, and then zoom in a little bit, uh, how to create an action plan for getting things done, this is kind of the outline that I use for the day, uh, and, and I keep it just in a regular Old composition notebook. Cost a dollar. And by the way, um, I buy them in bulk when school starts because they you can usually buy them for 25 cents. So I'll buy a dozen of them or so. I'll go through that easily in, uh, in a year between the time school starts. At any rate, so just the date. Start the day with gratitude, what I'm grateful for. But here's the key part down here. Choose one priority for the day. Four other things that you can focus on and then the people you need to talk to. So today I want to talk about choosing one priority. That was a lot of the feedback that I got from yesterday. A lot of the questions about, well, how are you supposed to do that? How can I have only one priority for the day? You don't understand. What I do is special. <laughs> I've got a long list of priorities that I need to address. Here's the reality, and this is why, specifically why I set that up the way that I did. At the end of the day, let's go back. If you begin the day with 10 number one priorities, I will even slash that in half and say only five number one priorities. And you work 10 hours out of the day, that means you got two hours apiece. So can you really put your best and highest effort toward five number one priorities? How about if you had one number one priority and you spent half the day working on it, then you've more than doubled, you've two and a half times the amount of time that you spend working on it, you probably get a better result and a more quality result because you were able to focus on one thing. And if you did that five days a week, now all of a sudden you got five priority items knocked out in the course of a week. Now, as you sit there today, you might look at your list and think, man, there's no way because I've got 25 for the week. Well, you're just overcommitted. It's that simple. And it's not any more complicated than that. You have committed to more things than you were physically able to do. Look at it this way. If you begin the day with only two number one priorities, and you get down to nine hours and 50 minutes, you have 10 minutes left in the day, and you haven't completed either one, and you, you, you've got two choices, really, maybe three. One choice is to do neither. One choice is to pick one, but you can't get them both done. 
Now, maybe I said maybe three because some people will say, oh, I've got an, an easy answer to that. I just work longer. I don't know why you think working longer would make a difference because your two number one priorities you couldn't get done in 10 hours. If you add 10 more hours to the day, are you going to get them done? No. So if in that moment, in that last 10 minutes of the day, you choose one or the other, that one was the number one priority all day long anyway. You just weren't admitting it. So using this method, go ahead and admit it, acknowledge it up front at the beginning of the day, and then do everything you can to get it knocked out first. Then, no matter what else happens during the rest of the day, you have a winning day because you got your number one priority taken care of. Now, the focus items that come after that, those are things you can work on after the number one priority is taken care of. And that's specifically why I set it up the way that I did. All right, let me show, you, show that to you one more time here. If I can get it to zoom for me. There we go. Oops. Your priority comes first, and then you have one, two, three, four, maybe five if you use the margin. Five things you can work on after that, but they come after the priority. Get your priority things done first. Now, this is all a little piece, a, a little bit of a much bigger puzzle, right? You have to think about it this way. Most of the time, we go into every day looking at that that five or 10 or 25 things, the, those priorities that are waiting on me today. And, and we look at each day as its own game. And in reality, we're playing a long game here. We're not playing a whole game in one 24 hour period. That's just like one set of downs in football or one inning in baseball, right? Yogi, I think it was Yogi Berra said, you know, the trick to winning baseball is to get them on, get them over and get them in. You break every run down into three parts. You got to get on, you got to get them over, and you got to get them in. And you do that over and over and over and over again. You know, there's a quote that I like uh, to use sometimes that success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Success is the sum of small efforts. Put a little effort in. You choose one priority that you can complete in a day and you put effort into completing that one priority, and then you string a couple of those days together, and before you know it, you got them on, you got them over, you got them in, and you're winning the ball game. And don't forget the ball game is a long game, not a daily game. Right? It's stretched out there. All right. Uh, also, that reminds me to, and so we use the baseball metaphor. Let's use a football metaphor here quickly. Is this guy, a high school coach, doesn't believe in punting the football. He says, you're giving up a down every possession. Why would you do that? And statistically, he's right. And they were interviewing, I saw an interview with uh, an, an opposing coach in his same league, and he said, I've seen him punt fourth down in 19 on his own five-yard line. Uh, I've seen him run a play, not punt. I've seen him not punt, backed up against his own goal line. Well, so he might lose that battle, but in the long run, playing the long game, he's going to win because he's taking an extra bite at the apple every time he has the ball. All right? So if you believe that what you do is special, that you can't choose one priority, I challenge you on that. And if you truly, honestly, and truly believe that's the case, send me a message. Don't put it in the comments. Send me a message, a Facebook message, or just send me an email. Tom at TomRigsby.com. I want to talk to you and help you identify what your one priority is. Everybody's got one. You just sometimes need some help identifying what it is. That's where some, uh, that's where help from somebody like a coach can really come into play, right? Is helping you find and identify that one thing that changes the game. All right. So, hope that's been helpful. Uh, remember, coffee shop show coming up at 9 o'clock today. Send me a message if you think you're unique or if you can't identify your one priority. I'll help you with that. All right. Oh, uh, also, Wednesday. It's a uh, new thing I'm trying to remember to keep you tuned into. If you are here in the Huntsville area, it's co-working night tonight. Uh, I think this is the last week. Let me see. Yeah, this is the last week at Real Estate Row. 
on uh, University Drive, but drop by there anytime after 6. And uh, I'm doing a workshop at 7 called Idea Suck. Love to see you come by there. Join me for that. And uh, if bring your idea. We'll help you unsuck your idea. That's what we're going through right now. All right, that's it. Uh, yep, that's all. Talk to you again tomorrow. You have a great Wednesday.